Hi everybody, I'm Natalie, here with Novel Thoughts, and I welcome all of you guys, avid readers, bibliophiles, people who like to think about literature. We're glad to have you here. This is Abs. Yo. She's here to do a social media tag with me, and we're going to get started with some fun questions so you can get to know how we feel about our books. Let's do. Okay, question number one of the social media tag is a Twitter question, and it is, your favorite shortest book? Okay, so my favorite shortest book would probably have to be Of Mice and Men by Steinbeck. I just love it. I, I love that book. What about you? Well, if plays count, then... Plays count. Plays okay, count. good. Good. Because I really love The Importance of Being Earnest. It was like the funniest thing I'd ever read. So from Facebook, we have a book that everyone pressured you into reading. Ooh. Yeah. Um... Going back some years, Twilight oh, okay. was definitely okay. pressured to read that one Yeah. because everyone and their mother, literally, and <laughs> their mother, yes, were, every reading mother. That, were reading that book. Yeah. Everyone told me I was supposed to read Hunger Games, um, mm. and I, I just couldn't bring myself to read it for about four years. I mean, you know me, guys, I hate young, okay. I shouldn't be so avid about that's, this. That's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Hate is a strong word. It is a strong word. I, I have a hard time, a relatively difficult time, with young adult dystopian literature. <laughs> I was, oh, I had a hard time. She made a list last summer to force herself to get through some, just so that she would know what was happening. Next is Tumblr. Tumblr. A book you read before it was cool. <laughs> okay, this is kind of embarrassing. I read Twilight before it was cool. Really? Why did you read it? I did, yeah. I, I read it back, um, I might have been like 14. For me, Hungry Hungry Caterpillar, for sure. <laughs> I was like on the cutting edge of toddlerhood. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I, could, I could see yeah. that. I could right? rather competitive. Right? You rather know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That was a good one, too. My goodness, he ate a lot. Okay, so next one's MySpace. So they're saying a book you don't remember whether you liked or not. Oh. So for that one, I'll probably have to say H.G. <clears throat> Wells' The Time Machine. Uh, I read it a couple years back because I'm a huge sci-fi fan, but I remember that I thought it was weird. I, I honestly don't remember whether or not I liked To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. And I just don't remember digesting it. I could not figure out who Boo Radley was. I like, I really struggled, guys. I mean, Atticus was a boss, but that's about what I remember. And there you have was. To read it again. Yeah, I really, I really will, especially with the ghost I had to watch me wanna. A book you wish had turned into a movie, or would be turned into a movie. <sighs> hmm. A little bit of a cop out answer anything Neil Gaiman. I mm, love yes. Neil Gaiman. I mean, if you guys have ever seen Stardust, oh my gosh, Robert De Niro. Or Coraline, like all of his, awesome. his books turn into awesome. good movies. I mean, if I were to pick a couple, um, Ocean at the End of the Lane could be really interesting. So what about you? Do remakes count? Because I think they need to retry Dune, because <laughs> that was an epic fail. Maybe try again. Okay, so from Goodreads, a book that you would recommend to everyone. I would re recommend The Martian. I'm a fan oh, of sci-fi, but it's also a yeah. good read for anyone. Even if you're not super into sci-fi, it's very, very readable. Yeah. It's going to be made into a movie with Matt Damon in it oh, and gosh. directed by Ridley Scott, so yeah. well worth a read. It's, it's a awesome. very good book. Something I really enjoyed as a child was The Chronicles of Narnia. Oh, and, good choice. Right? I just I love C.S. Lewis, and that is such a wonderful world to just explore a little bit. Even if it doesn't catch your imagination, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is a great book. I definitely recommend that to everybody. Sweet. Well, thanks for coming. If you guys want to go ahead and give your answers in the comments, I tag all of you. We hope to see you back here to talk some awesome books on Novel Thoughts. Bye guys.